How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. So what we need to do is we just need to simply say git server dot oops git server dot git why is this not working? Why is git server not working? Let's just throw it up here. Let's say git server. There we go. Dot git plugin manager. Dot register events. And listener is this. And we need a new events class. You know, I might have did this backwards. I did. I did it backwards. So we want new events class. I always do that. And then we want this. There we go. And we'll just import everything there. And let's go ahead and export this. And just for safe measure here, when we place our block here, uh, we should just send them another message. Uh, player dot send message. And I cannot type today. Send message chat color dot green you have been added to cool down just something simple just so we know that it's working and let's reload and let's see if everything goes as planned still gonna have the same exact beautiful destroyed world okay let's just do weather sun just kidding weather clear and let's find ourselves a diamond block, which I don't know where it is. There we go. And let's see. So we still have negative 16 seconds, negative 19. All right, so let's see here. So what is the problem? Okay, so what's happening is it's getting the config. Um, but we do not exist inside the config, but it thinks we do. All right, so we have to run a quick check here. So let's just go ahead and say if plugin.getconfig.get. Let's just see what this, this prints out first. So let's just do Let's just annotate these out. And let's just go ahead and say system.out.print and we are going to print this. Let's see what this prints out because I'm actually pretty curious. Uh, so when we join, so let's reload. Let's leave. So it prints out zero. So you have been added to the cooldown. Oh, wait. Oh, it worked because we didn't do it on, on, on join. Sup, Steve. So we have nine seconds, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, negative one. Okay, so you can see here we have a couple issues here. Um, this video is probably going to be broken down into a couple different ones because uh, I messed up a little bit, but maybe it'll be one. All right, so first issue that we have to fix is this. So let's just say, let's get rid of this. And let's say if CD time dot equal equals zero return else, we're just going to put them inside of here. So let's try this again. Let's reload. Let's export. What are we at in time? 22 minutes. Wow. So we have been added. All right. So the issue of us being added uh, without having any mark on there is fixed. Now let's see if we leave. Let's check this. 
So let's grab our config here. And our config did not save because we did not save our config on quit. And we gotta go ahead and do that. So plugin dot save config. Let's reload that. Let's join. Let's place. Let's leave. Let's look at it. And there we go. We got 19 cooldown left. Let's see if our cooldown is still here. And you can see that our cooldown of 18 seconds is still here. And so we got to go ahead here to our runnable. And for some reason, so let's just say if it is less than or equal to zero, we shall be removed. And let's just go ahead and send. Uh, no, yeah, this, this should be good. All right, let's just make it a, a quicker time here. Let's just make it 10 seconds here so we can do it a little bit faster here and we should be all set. So let me get rid of some of these dumb blocks here. So let's place. So we got nine seconds left. Five, three, two, one, zero. Negative two, okay. So what is happening here? So let's see. So the runnable is running. And we're saying if the time left is less than or equal to zero, we're going to do cdd time dot remove. Else. We're going to put it in there. Let's try that out. So let's leave. So we've been added to the cooldown. Seven seconds. Two seconds. One second. And let's wait it out here. And we have been added to the cooldown. Okay, so it did work and we should be all set to go. Let's leave the server. Let's see if our time updates there. Six seconds. All right, so you guys now have a working, a um, I don't know, how do I explain a working cooldown system, right? So the system, uh, on so let's just go through exactly what we did here. So when the player places a diamond block, uh, we are checking first to see if they do not exist inside of the cooldowns, because if they do, we want to deny them the ability to place diamond blocks uh, which we totally didn't do here so we gotta go ahead and just say event dot set cancel as true and now so what's gonna happen here is if they do not exist inside of the CD time uh, hash map we are going to allow them to place diamond block and we're going to let them know and we're gonna add them to the hash map and then we're gonna let them know that they've been added to the cooldown and if they are inside the CD time, we want to set that event cancel because we don't want them to be able to place diamond block. And now again, you can do this with anything. And then we want to go ahead and send them a message telling them how much time they have left so they can place diamond blocks. Now, for some reason, the player's like, well, you know, I'll just leave because, you know, this cooldown is ridiculous for whatever reason. They can go ahead and quit. Um, but then that cooldown will not be lifted or will not start again until that player rejoins the server here So we're setting them to the config We are saving the config and then we are moving them from CD time just so we have a smaller hash map And then when that player joins uh, it's going to look through the config if their time equals zero Which is what it will come back as if they do not exist inside of there We are going to just uh, return because we don't want to set them as anything and then if their CD time, and then uh, and then if their time is not, uh, uh, we should go ahead and say less than or equal to zero. If for some reason it messes up, uh, if they're not equal to that, we are going to add them to the hash map, and that hash map uh, is run through every tw twenty ticks or every one second. And then inside of there, we are saying if CD time is empty, just return because we don't want to run this if it is already. Um, or if it is empty, right? So it's just gonna run, go back, run, go back, run, go back. And then we wanna say for all of the UIDs inside of CD time, we wanna get the integer, which is time left, and then we wanna check to see if it's less than or equal to zero. And if it is, we are going to remove it. Else if it's not, we are going to put them 
back in and we are going to do their time left minus one. And that is all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. This video was a little bit lengthy. You might cut it into two parts because um, it is a pretty all deep tutorial. So that is all I got for you guys. And thank you so much for watching.